Couple days back, I had said this. But with a heavy heart, I have to say this. <sighs> Disable is useless. And to this, Cod Mobile replied saying, we don't do that here. And within hours, the Disable perk got buffed. Let's see what the buffs were and if Disable perk is worth using now or not. Disable perk got 2 buffs this season. Earlier we needed to hit our shots under the waist for the disable perk to take effect. But in this season we can hit anywhere on the body and disable perk will slow down the enemy. There is a clause as the full body hitbox is only applicable for assault rifles and LMGs. And we still need to hit under the waist for SMG, sniper, shotgun, pistol and marksman rifle for the disable perk to take effect. Thus disable perk is very good for assault rifles and LMG and also shotguns to some extent as due to pellet spread we will hit leg shots and the disable perk will take effect. Otherwise it's not that viable of a perk for other weapons. The duration for disable perk is unchanged and earlier it lasted for 2 seconds and even now it lasts the same duration. However what was the big buff was the person multiplier. Earlier the disable perk affected around 2-3% for movement and ADS movement speed. In my previous analysis video I had suggested making this 20% as it will actually be viable for playing against the fast strafing meta as 2% to 3% to is too low of a, a multiplier to do anything. And thankfully the devs listened to this suggestion and currently it impacts movement speed by 15% and ADS movement by 20% which is a good buff as it makes disable viable without making the disable perk overpowered. And now a word from our sponsor Koda Shop. The festive season is upon us and now when you buy CP from Koda Shop you get gifts and rewards in return. This offer lasts for an entire month till 29th of November and when you buy CP you get a certain reward for it by using the code GIFD. You need to buy a minimum of 2400 CP to avail the offer and the gift codes are till the offer lasts. For adding CP to your account, go to Koda Shop following the link in the description and click on COD Mobile. Enter your player ID and the amount of CP you want and then whatever payment option you want to use. And an important step here is to use invalid email ID to receive the rewards. There are other offers ongoing at the moment too so do check out their website for more information. Thank you. Disable also did not do anything to stop people from jumping and sliding around and even now after the buff people are free to jump and slide around. So in its current state Disable is definitely worth using and if you have an attachment slot to spare or you have a passive playstyle I would try and squeeze in a Disable perk in our build as it will help especially for assault rifles and LMG. Disable also has an inverse relation with fire rate. It's not that useful for fast firing guns like M13 but on slower firing guns like Man of War you definitely want to use it. Disable is more worth on slower firing guns compared to faster firing guns. Thus the major change to Disable perk was the 15% movement speed buff which in practice does not help much especially since people were expecting to counter the shotgun movement with it and then the 20% buff to ADS movement speed and this is what makes the Disable worth using right now as everyone is using the fast strafing meta and disable helps us counter it. Now what to do if you get disabled by the enemy. Disable slows down our movement speed but nothing for slide and jumping. So the easiest solution is either an ADS, slide and then ADS again and you can get the kill on the enemy like that. Or you jump spam which won't be affected by the disable perk and get the kill on the enemy like that. And we can also do a combination of slide and jump both and these are all easy counters to the disable perk. Thank you to Mr. Roy for testing out the Disable perk and we appreciate these stats very much. Thanks a lot. Thus Disable is viable to use now and if you have a slot in your gunsmith build then definitely use it. I personally recommend it on AS Val as this is one of the few guns where you have a free slot available for this perk. And people are also using it on Peacekeeper, Holger and so on. Do leave a like and comment something nice to help support the video and share this video in your discord and social media so we can help spread good information to the community. Until next time, take care guys and bye.